been a fairly, it's been a fairly uh, busy day. We've been uh, working on uh, some wire stuff and uh, green screen. I can't give away the movie. So, what can I tell you? Right? I can only give you little hints of what we're doing. Pretty exciting stuff, actually. So when you see the movie, this wall is... Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of what I could say to you. Uh, this wall is part of another wall that is in another set in another place. What did I tell you? Absolutely nothing. Uh, yeah, but there's going to be, uh, includes uh, wire work and stunt work and green screen. All kinds of stuff. And actually, you know what? After we're done with this, turn with me here. We're thinking about selling this to uh, Cambodian television. This is like weather map. You know, and the guy walks in front. Today, a little cloudy over here. A little sunny here. But mostly a lovely day. In, in Cambodia. And my house is right over there. Oh, okay. That's my farm right there. You can tell that Stuart's house is a lot, a lot of coconut smoke. <laughs> the return of the coconut smoke. I got my mask on. Uh, this is where uh, people have lunch. And it's not just any people, it's our people. Although this is early in the morning, we haven't had lunch. We've got our first couple of shots off on the day. Uh, but uh, it's a great spot, you know? Take a look. Take a look. Take a look. So, good. Well, I just did a CNN moment where I had an interview with CNN and uh, an interview with my producer. Uh, just that they want to add a new moment to the movie. And it's all about rhythm and pacing. The challenge for me as a storyteller is to pick up a new rhythm and a new pacing all the time. This is a lock off. So, this is a lock off set extension shot. Yeah, Stuart, I have no background in the front when we shot this. Yeah. Um, Oh. Yes. Oh. Okay, Sam. Give me a double, man. Can you tell me if we do this shot? Anyway, so Christopher, what do you think of this frame for the beginning of the dolly move? Yeah. All right. At that move. Yeah. I think and, that's great. Um, okay. Now, let's let's go to the other side. So you have all this marked. Once yeah, yeah. it's marked, we'll go to the right. Okay. And let's do the dolly. And dolly. Clearing. Okay. So while he's talking, on the camera move, we'll do it on track. Stop. Oh, that's such a sweet shot. Right. I'm in my trailer and uh, I have with me the woman behind the camera. Hello. Yeah, that is Whitney Sherman. And Whitney has done more for me than I can express on this video. She's helped me so much as my personal assistant on this movie. And I appreciate her very, very much. She should know that. Thank you, Whitney. Thank you. I say that publicly <laughs> on on 
on these videos just so that everybody knows. And this is our uh, final day of principal photography on Trade of Innocence. And, uh, we're setting up for uh, one scene where Dermot and Mira are in and they meet inside the investigation office. So come on in this way. Come on, guys. Can you, can you just like not talk and go with it? Okay. So first we're setting up for the shot looking this way. Back into yes. the uh, the other world. And my idea always is to try to look deep. And uh, obviously it takes away the walls and, and allows the audience to see something beyond. Uh, so you know you're not on a set, not on a movie set. You're not standing, two characters standing up against the wall, but you see deeper and deeper and deeper, and deeper into the world. And uh, that's always been my goal as we work through this whole thing. You know, um, just in comments with my wife the other day, um, we were talking about uh, a variety of, of things, and of course, and uh, just she's asked me how my day is going. And, I told her, I said, you know, I, I've come to realize that something being part of being a director, uh, you're often pitched curveballs. Those curveballs can come from crew, from actors, from, can come from producers, it can come from many different things, the weather, the anything, and are just people, just dealing with people in general. So I think the key, I've come to realize, I know this, I and mean, I know this to be true, is you gotta swing at that curveball anyways. And you gotta still be able to hit a home run as the curveball comes at you. Uh, so that's part of the thing, you know, realizing uh, the goal and, and kind of making the day and making, making the movie happen. That's what it is. And cut Ready? and print. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to announce the official wrap. <laughs>